Well, hello. This uh, is episode one of my first Let's Play series on Upper Mississippi River Valley. Um, starting off, this is an awesome map. I uh, highly recommend you download it from DR Modding on their Facebook page. So, just a little background. Um, we've got some equipment just starting to spring off. Uh, everything has worked. The soybeans... Um, soybean ground is all sprayed except for field 37 you can just walk up to the barn and show you the map um, everything green of course is the fields we own so uh, hope to get to plant today uh, 37 and 35 rather and 32 are going to be corn the rest will be beans hopefully this fall we can get some wheat planted so without much further ado let's get started um, just open the door here. Get the planters rolling. Uh, we need to fill them with seed. So let's hop in the 8730, I think. You know, 80, 8370. Alright, get her started up. Set to corn. Let's get this puppy full. does not turn real, real well with this planter. I don't know if it's collision on the planter itself or what, but it's not the easiest thing to drive around. Now let's see if we can catch the trigger. Still can. It's placeable. Seed trigger is cool, but very convenient. But very hard to get to fill. There we go. Alright, well, let's go grab the other one. Um, plant some beans, but I think I'd probably have them plant a field of corn. It won't hurt anything. This guy moving around. Really do like this uh, DB60. Really high detail. It's even got the camera on it. Uh, but the uh, insecticide boxes and the row cleaners, the closers, just really nice detail. See if he's full yet. <clears throat> yes, he is. Get him moved out of the way a little bit. He said that does not turn easily. Such a big, big planter. Uh, I need. It's 36 rows, I think. might have to get the seed tender out to fill this one. I know I've had problems with this one before. Yeah, just shut it off for now and we'll come back to that. I want to get plant, get to planting corn here. I know that with seasons, um, we won't get any germ until it's 50 degrees. But if we look at the forecast, it's going to rain for the pretty much all spring, so I don't know when I'm else going to get planted. So, just try to get it in the ground now. Otherwise, we're not going to have time to bring up the map again. I'm not doing 36, we are doing 35. Now 
now to find the field entrance. I've never been actually been in this field. Oh, there it is. Good. Good. But can we make the turn without hitting the sign? Oh, we good. We can. Thank God. Just roll it, because it can't turn. <clears throat> Pull in a little more and get this baby opened up. We'll be using quartz play on this let's play. It's it's a must plant on these humongous fields. Try to go slow if you've never used it. I do suggest downloading it. It is it is a godsend. Just a little shorter. You're starting northwest corner. Heading east. And do one. The uh, better do two headlane passes. And do those last. And generate it. K16. Now let's see if we can get this other one started. Too much equipment. So, just gonna pull him on out of the way. Go grab the seed tender. Because we're gonna need it anyway. It's gonna need to be filled. Put a couple thousand liters in the truck just so we can get the planter filled because I want to get him started. Um, do I have. I think the drill is still in the barn. Um, that's probably good for now. Probably get the drill ready to put some beans out as well when I get all these machines planting. Back him up here real quick. This puppy loaded. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's got to be open, but I don't, wouldn't understand why. Apparently 
always got to be open. That's kind of stupid. But we, uh, we'll make do. Seven two. I think we're gonna throw that one in corn. Two fields won't be enough corn, so we'll uh, just change the farm plan up a little bit here. Almost done filling. Uh, da -da. There we go. Fold it back up for some weird reason. Since it won't fill. There we go. It's not folding up there for a second. Did not know what was going on. Come on. Play set up, starting to get the course play set up. Planting. All right. So, let's see another one. Get back here. I cannot remember. Maybe I didn't get a drill. Um, I guess I did not buy a drill. All right. No worries. Well, we have corn spring. We need to get done and behind them planters. Hope we'll probably pass them for. Uh, Certain we're gonna pass them with the sprayer, but since it's finally getting planted, we should probably blow some some herbicide and some 28 down with it. So I am going to keep this guy filling, get him full. And then, uh, we'll just start spraying here. To the Rogator 1300. I actually used to run a 1100. It's a little brother of the line. The 100 foot boom, pretty nice machine. Do you like the Rogators? They're uh, pretty good. Only been stuck a few times. Do not advise getting one of these stuck in the mud. A lot of digging. So. Yep, now we're full. Let's uh, go out to. Is that 37? 35. Get that one sprayed and then uh, hopefully have enough product we do. 
other field right beside it, and then um, might switch to beans. I doubt it, but just might not be enough time. And this is the wrong field. <laughs> Still learning the map. GPS crack in here. Pretty much a must on on this map. Fields are so big that just waste way too much time trying to overlap. There is the um, ethanol plant. They work on the brakes on this machine, um, which they he changed quite a bit from uh, the first one he released. So, it's quite different. Still got the scale house in that. Green Sample Pro, which is really cool touch. Still a beta map, that's for sure. Wonder if anybody's pointed that out yet. Yeah, we'll just overlap a lot on the grass here. Say this, that DB90 is making quick work of this big field. It's a really nice mod, especially on big maps where you don't want to mess around all day with the little European type planner that you can't do nothing with. about to finish the headland pass um, start doing the straights here should have her knocked up pretty quick do you need to give this rogator bath that is getting dirty 
they do that in spring when you spray in a lot of worked ground, a lot of dust. Especially with the fertilizer too, it makes that whole boom sticky and kind of kicks that dust on it. You can barely see out of the windows. This is insane. <laughs> really did a good job on it as well. Interior's not as not as nice, but it is nice to have a rogator in game. Apologize for switching in and out of the cab, but I just cannot see where I've been. The cab is so dirty. Tell you what, we will be back as soon as I get this field done. All right, we're back. Um, really short work of this field. Get out of his way here, quick. I don't really want to be spraying 28 all over that planter. Wait for him to move here. to sneak up behind the planter before he backs up. Cool. He is onto his headland passes so we can finish this field and move on to the next. The booms out and get the heck out of here. Looks like we gotta give Phyllis full of seed, so let's go get the seed tender quick. I'll wait and spray that field after uh, after we get the planter filled. That is more important than spraying right now. See that 7R is making good progress right across that field. Probably gonna need some seed as well. Yeah, 54%. It's got a little time yet. Yeah, we'll just leave that sprayer running.
back into the field here. I don't really want to drive over that ground. Don't need any more compaction. I'll try to keep this farm as no till esque as possible. Probably the corn is may get ripped, so we'll see. That's about as far as I dare. I'll just hop in real quick. Looks about right. Fold this puppy out though. Hopefully this fill will finish this field. Um, do it. Get back out where she ran out. off real quick well guys I think that is it for this episode uh, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see ya